Hi, my name is Raymond McClure. I'm the parish pastoral worker for St Andrews in the parish of Ballyhalbert. When going into this rejuvenation project, one thing that I had to remember is that God was already there working within St Andrews, within the parish, that I wasn't bringing God with me, but that I was actually getting an opportunity to play a part in what God was already doing within that parish. And I had to be sensitive towards that. I had to be sensitive to the work that God was doing and the land that he was preparing. And it was just a privilege and, and an honour to be able to, to play a part in that and an opportunity to see God work somewhere new and somewhere different. My experience with Bally uh, Halbert is one of transformation. The congregation over the period of time I've seen grow not only in numbers but in spiritual awareness and spiritual depth and in the relationship with Jesus. And it's amazing just to watch God transform lives in a way that I didn't even think was possible. And that includes mine, that includes my own journey that I've been on. And, and I've seen many life lessons and many ministry lessons in such a short period of time. Ones of humility, of patience, of surrendering what my hopes and dreams were to see God's hopes and dreams fulfilled. In Bally Halbert, we're beginning to see transformation spill onto the streets. We're beginning to see God being talked about on the streets. We're beginning to see the church being talked about in the queue for the post office. We're beginning to see what happens in the church being spread into the community. And that's just an amazing journey to be on. That's just an amazing thing to see. The congregation are beginning to own their own projects and taking the lead and seeing the change that they want to see within the church. And we are seeing uh, a church that at one point was unsure of its own future, planning for a bright and a prosperous future. And that's just incredible. The church has become this place of hope. It's become this place of unity, of restoration, of healing. And exciting things really do lie ahead for the church of St. Andrews. In Genesis 26, I'm reminded of the, the story where Isaac is re-digging the wells that his father Abraham had previously dug. At one point, St. Andrews was actually considered to be the center of all church and religious activity within the community. Once Isaac had reopened these wells, he said, the Lord has created a space to flourish in this land. And I do believe from the bottom of my heart that wells are beginning to be reopened within St. Andrew's Bally Halbert, that once again, St. Andrew's will be that center of all church activity within the community. And that we simply just need to let God do his thing and to let that happen. So can I invite you to pray along with me as we pray for the Church of St. Andrew, but also the, the wider churches and parishes within our diocese. Let's pray. We pray in the name of Jesus. The transformation begins to become something that is actually normal, that we're, where the very fabric of our church is transformed into one that reflects the kingdom of God. We pray that lives are changed. We pray dry bones will be brought back to life through the power of the Spirit. We pray that surrender becomes the attitude of our hearts as we create a space where you, Lord, where you can move and have your being. And we pray that in transformation that we are united as one holy Catholic and apostolic church. May your kingdom come and may your will be done in our parishes and in our diocese as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen.